Next, we will look at configuring NTOP in OnPlus. NTOP is a network traffic probe that shows the network usage with traffic information and network status. For OnPlus, NTOP can be configured to use a port span from the WAN uplink or using NetFlow. First, we will look at the port span configuration. On your router, configure a port span from the WAN uplink to a specified port. Refer to the documentation for the device you are using for instructions on how to set up port spanning. Once configured, connect this port span port to the monitor port on the back of the ON100, as shown here. In this example, we have shown a Cisco Small Business 300 series switch. Once the port is configured and connected to the ON100, the next step is to install NTOP. To install NTOP from the customer's topology, click Apps. Then under NTOP, click Free. Next, click Add. NTOP will take a few minutes to install. Now, to launch NTOP, go to Apps, then click Details under NTOP. Then click Launch NTOP Portal. This will open a new window with NTOP. This concludes configuring NTOP using a port span configuration. Next, we will look at configuring NTOP using NetFlow. Next, we will look at configuring NTOP using NetFlow. Most Cisco iOS routers support the NetFlow protocol. To use NetFlow, enable the protocol on the router and point it at the OnPlus network agent. Here's an example configuration for NetFlow on an iOS router. In this example, we've configured NetFlow using the IPFlow export destination command. Replace the OnPlus network agent IP address with the actual IP address of the OnPlus unit. Here, the 2055 corresponds to the local collector UDP port number for the NetFlow login. Next, NTOP will need to be configured for NetFlow. Next, launch the NTOP portal from Apps. From the NTOP portal, navigate to Plugins, NetFlow, and Activate. Then navigate to Plugins, NetFlow, and Configure. Click Add NetFlow Device. Under Local Collector UDP Port, specify a port number. This port number should correspond to the port number configured for the IP flow export destination command configured on the router or switch, as shown previously. Then click Set Port. Next, under Admin, select Switch NIC. Then select the newly configured NetFlow port. Then click Switch NIC. This concludes the NTOP NetFlow configuration. This concludes our video for my first deployment. If you have additional questions, feel free to reach out to us on the Cisco on Plus support community. The link has been provided here. Additionally, follow us on Twitter for updates and the newest features on Cisco on Plus. Again, thank you for your time.